Hey, Brandon, what's up? This is Josh. I was uh, doing some research, website research for um, another chiropractor friend of mine who's out like in West County or further out that way or whatnot. And I was just, uh, man, who do I know who's a chiropractor like near me? Um, and your name popped up in my head. Oh, wait, yeah. Brandon's a chiropractor. And like, <laughs> I, um, I do a lot of web design and um, uh, digital marketing work. And so I've got other customers that um, I work with that they've got a pizza company. Um, if you haven't ever tried Flamenco's Pizza in O'Fallon, Illinois, you should try it. Um, it's really good pizza. But um, he's one of my clients who I help him rank, um, you know, for specific keywords on the Internet, right, on Google primarily. Right, to make sure that like when people type in this keyword, he pops up as number one, right? When people type in pizza in O'Fallon, Illinois, if you type that in Google, he'll pop up as number one. Or at least he should still pop up as number one. He did yesterday. <laughs> um, but yeah, I uh, I'm contacting you because <coughs> excuse me. Um, I know you operate out of Shiloh, the Shiloh office. Um, and I just figured I'd put together a quick um, video to kind of show you some um, keywords that you guys could be um, utilizing, right, um, to be able to pull in more traffic. Um, and if not, you know, it's all good too. Um, you know, I do web design specifically to um, like build content on web pages that will rank on Google in search engines essentially. And so the main page that you guys have here on chiropro.com is pretty badass. Um, it's a good WordPress site, um, decent amount of content. <coughs> um, what I always tell customers is that they should have a minimum of like 1,500 to 2,000 words on their main homepage. And then for their location pages, which you guys have location pages, um, Shiloh, Illinois, right? If you want to rank for that location, um, it's good to have a minimum of 1,000 words on your location page. And it needs to be keyword rich content, meaning what people are searching for on the internet, right? And so, um, you guys don't have a lot of content on your Shiloh page. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just, it, it's tough to be able to rank, right? I use this tool called Arifs, and it's a marketing tool. Um, and here is a prefix list, or uh, the actual website location page, Shiloh, Illinois. And it's, um, it ranks as far as like a, scale from, you know, 1 to 100 on as far as Google's concerned, right, on ranking, it's like 4.5, um, which is kind of low, but it's also because there's a low amount of content on the site. <coughs> you only have one referring domain and one backlink, which also kind of adds to that. When you've got 25 keywords um, that um, you're not ranking for, that people are searching for, right, you guys have a pay-per-click um, which is, you guys are paying for Vitalized Chiropractic. Apparently there's only 20 search volume and there's no like competition for that. Um, and so you guys are getting that, but getting 100% of that um, said traffic. But the thing is, is that like, I don't know whether or not that is buyer intent. Maybe it is buyer intent. Um, but is that location specific? You know, because this Vitalized Chiropractic means that like, Somebody in, um, you know, another state could be searching for that too, right? Um, and so I kind of look at these things and be like, okay, well, wait a minute. Like, why why spend money on that to rank for those keywords when you could spend money on other things, like just ranking a keyword and not having to spend on Google Ads? Google Ads are predatory in my opinion. I think they're, <coughs> they're a necessary evil. I prefer Facebook ads when marketing for customers, um, but... Even Facebook ads, you have to be careful about the way you are um, putting together your content to make sure that, like, the right people are seeing it, right? And so this tells me that three unique customers come to your website every month, the Shiloh location website. Um, and so what I try to do is figure out, like, when I go to a customer, I'm like, okay, these are some keywords that I think you could rank for. You should rank for these. Um, and then we'll, you know, put a bunch of, build out a bunch of links towards it so that we can rank for them. Um, if I go to let's see this keyword explorer, chiropractor Swansea, Illinois, there's barely anybody searching for that in Swansea. And it's kind of 
says it's easy, but that can be kind of tough to rank for. The next keyword, chiropractor Belleville, Illinois. See, Belleville has a large population. It's 45,000 people in Belleville. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, the thing is, is that, like, um, you guys are close enough physically to Belleville that you can rank for those keywords in Belleville as well. I know you guys are on the map pack locally, the Google the Google map pack, which is good. Um, it's just that if people search for chiropractor Belleville, Illinois, you guys don't show up because that map pack is often um, based on the backlink profile to those specific areas and locations. And so if you had backlinks built out that kind of targeted this keyword here, um, chiropractor Belleville, Illinois, then you could get this 100 search volume, right? And they say that if you're number one organically and in the net map pack, you could assume about 80% of the traffic will come to your website, right? And so these are the kind of things that I do. Um, I'm a bit of a computer nerd, right? So if you want more information, you want to talk more about it, um, discuss some strategies for like bringing more people to your site. And then I also noticed like you guys have a St. Charles location that's to be determined. The thing is, is that there's some heavy volume of traffic in St. Charles and just in St. Louis in general, as far as like potential um, clients are concerned. And so, um, but the competition's higher. So the cost to rank um, is high, goes up, right? And so I've, I've got some clients that I'm working with that, you know, we work out on a um, percent basis, basis, like, okay, this, um, you know, 10, 15 percent, or whatever of sales go towards the marketing um, backlink and you know, profile building. And so, um, it's that sort of relationship that I have with different customers to be able to like get them ranked. So that the top people that everyone searches for, right? Somebody searches chiropractors, the chiropractor Swansea, Illinois, right? <coughs> These three come up, right? Swansea Chiropractic, and then or these are. This is the map pack. This is organic listings, right? I shoot for organic listings first. Once you can get somebody to number one in an organic listing, it's a lot easier to get them in the map pack. Um, and so, Cairo Pro is not on here. But if you think about it, like you guys are close enough to Swansea that you should be ranking for this, right? I don't know how many people are searching. I mean, well, we do know, right? Chiropractor Swansea, Illinois has a little search volume, so I don't know how much I would spend to rank for that. Um, but Chiropractor Bell, Illinois, right? I mean, that's got 100 search volume, so that's considerably better. And you guys are close enough to Belleville to to rank for it. So just let me know um, if you want to talk more on it and get hop on a Zoom call and go into more of a deep dive and strategy. Um, this is kind of what I do. I'm a marketing SEO person, and so. You want more information? Let me know.